Welcome back to Don's Life, welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today to celebrate the new year 2023 and surpassing 20,000 subscribers before 2022 was finished. Thank you for that, by the way. We are doing the install that actually you had asked for early on when the channel was in its inception phase with this truck. I kind of forgot about it, but thanks to 404parts.com who's sponsoring this video, they reminded me. Let's go. I have so many things planned this year. To stay up to date, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to turn your notifications on so you can stay tuned and not miss anything. If you're already familiar with part number 8440-8373, then you know exactly what this install is about. Now you might wanna pause your video here so you can go look up 8440-8373 and do some research, or you can just watch the rest of this video. So what we have here is the GMC upgraded mirror puddle lights. So we're gonna install these and see if it adds some character or uniqueness to the already plain looking truck. So let me tell you, I hear a shipment coming. Shipments. I told you we got some plans. Always look at the fine print. This is a GM genuine part. That means that GM backs this part. They may not make it, but they back it. And you always want somebody to have your back, especially when it comes to car and truck parts. And that's exactly why 404parts.com is your place to go for genuine GM parts. All right, I'll put my dry sense of humor at bay. So let's get serious and get started with this install with this very expensive tool that's needed to do this install, a small flat screwdriver or pry tool. So come over here and have a look. These are the original puddle lamps. To do this install, you have to have mirrors that came with these puddle lamps. This actually works on some Yukons and some other GMC Sierras. I'll give a full list in the video description. But there's a little tab in here. And I've taken these out once already, just in anticipation of this video. Don't pry too hard because you could break the little clip in case you ever need to put them back in. But you just need to bring it down far enough. There, I got my fingernail in there. This one, of course, on camera is giving me grief. There we go. So there it is. Now, when I took these out the other day, there was actually more moisture on them than there is right now. It's probably more condensation, not much you can do. They are sealed as well as the new ones, but we're just going to disconnect the connector. And you notice these plugs, they have a, a vertical and a horizontal orientation, which is gonna help us understand how to put it back in. Before I take this one out, I'll run a little bit of footage overlaid with me speaking that shows how the light is cast from this lamp. The lens on here does diffuse the light a little bit, so it's soft. So I found them kind of underwhelming and the FOMO in me, the fear of missing out, trying to keep up with you uh, millennials and Gen Zs. My BMW M4 has puddle lamps that show the M logo. My wife's Cadillac Escalade came with the puddle lamps that show the Cadillac logo. So I couldn't have the AT4 without the GMC logo. So these ones have the GMC logo. Truth be told, part of me was holding out. And the reason I forgot about this is I was hoping they would make an AT4 logo. So any GM executives watching or anyone has that kind of influence, make some AT4 ones and I'll swap them out. But for now, we're gonna rock these GMC ones, which I can tell you, I think look pretty good and unique. Well, this one came out way easier. If your shipment came a little bit mixed up and these were tussled, don't worry, the instructions will tell you that blue is left side and green is right side. But if you look a little closer, if you take the original, you can see the angle of the connectors. It actually makes sense when you try to line them up. Now these are a lot taller, and the reason being, I think, is because of the focal length. This is just diffusing some light. This needs to focus a logo a certain distance to the ground. So that's why this is longer, that's my guess probably is wrong, but who cares? Okay, that was too quiet, let's do it again. All right, let's install this bad boy. Now the clip actually kind of comes in behind, so just watch that wire there. There's not as much room as before, but it should just snap into place, just like that. Now the passenger side, Same thing, line these up. Oh, look, it's not right. We're gonna have to flip it. There we go. Watch that wire in the back. Let's 
slid into place. Look how simple that install was. Now to test them out, I'll turn the lights off in the garage. It might be dark enough to think that it's dark outside. So the ambient light sensor that's on the dash up there, I could cover it, I might not need to, we'll see. But these are going to project GMC logos on the ground and I'll definitely run you some B-roll footage as well. None of this is possible or sustainable without the odd collaboration, sponsorship, but most of all, your willingness to tune in and watch these videos even better in their entirety. Hit like once in a while if you found them useful or maybe taught you something or even just entertaining. So leave a comment once in a while, let me know what you think. And I invite you at any time, you can email me at donslifechannel at gmail.com and give me your video ideas. If they're realistic and I can pull them off without having to sell a vital organ, I might just make them. Don't forget to check out today's video sponsor, 404parts.com. Have a look at what they have. I'll leave links in the video description below to get you to their site so you can check things out. So if you like today's video and you like the fact that your mother-in-law still doesn't live with you, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing and we'll talk to you next time.